Did you know about the invaluable discoveries in archaeology, archaeotechnology, medical science, genetics, biology, anthropology, and many other disciplines? What is it, you ask? It's the world's oldest wet mummy, naturally preserved in ice with unique clothes and equipment. This Iceman is Etsy, a man of superlatives. Today we're back with the 10 weirdest tales of Etsy the Iceman, ready to reveal the unknown, solve the mystery, and shed light on this Copper Rage Hunter. This is an absolute first. Never before has such a well-preserved individual been discovered from the Stone Age. So why wait? Join us on this exciting journey as we uncover the weirdest tales that will leave you in shock, just like me. Here on number 10 we have Etsy had severe health issues. Since Etsy's discovery in an alpine glacier more than two decades ago, scientists have subjected this mummy to a full body health check. The findings from these examinations have been surprisingly unpleasant, revealing a long list of health complaints for a man in his 40s. Etsy's worn joints and hardened arteries suggest he suffered from severe arthritis and cardiovascular issues. Additionally, he had gallstones, a common ailment of the time, and a nasty growth on his little toe that was likely caused by frostbite. This is just the beginning of Etsy's health woes. Further analysis revealed that his gut contained the eggs of parasitic worms, indicating he suffered from intestinal parasites. He likely had Lyme disease, a tick-borne illness that is still prevalent today. Alarmingly, Etsy's system contained high levels of arsenic, which may have resulted from working with metal ores and copper extraction. His teeth were also in poor condition. An in-depth dental examination revealed advanced gum disease and tooth decay, highlighting the lack of dental care in his era. Despite these chronic conditions, it was a sudden blow to the head that proved fatal to Etsy. Although he had a fresh arrow wound to his shoulder, it was the head injury that ultimately caused his death. This discovery adds a dramatic and violent element to the tale of Etsy's final moments. In addition to his health problems, Etsy's genetic analysis has revealed even more intriguing details about him. Perhaps one of the most surprising findings is that Etsy was likely infertile. Researchers discovered indicators of infertility in his genes during studies conducted in the mid-2000s. By investigating his intestines, they extracted mitochondrial DNA, which is passed down exclusively by the mother. This DNA contains sequences linked to male infertility, and Etsy had both of these sequences. The genetic tests also provided insights into Etsy's maternal lineage. Remarkably, he was the first person ever discovered to belong to a previously unknown subcategory of the K-haplogroup. A haplogroup can indicate which geographical areas or continents were settled by early humans. The K-haplogroup, rare among Europeans, suggests that Etsy's mother's family likely came from the south of the Alps or the Edstone region to the north. From the discovery of Etsy's extensive health issues and probable infertility to his unique genetic lineage, he continues to offer valuable insights into the life and conditions of people during the Copper Age. These new findings not only unravel more of his personal story, but also enhance our understanding of human history and prehistoric life. So without further ado, let's embark on the next weird tale. On number 9 we have The Weatherman. Etsy is a unique sort of weather report. Wondering how? Let me break it down for you. The mummified man lay in icy conditions for five millennia, accumulating valuable information about a little-known warm period. By studying the corpse's age, condition, and surroundings, scientists have been able to track glacial movements and climate changes in the region. Conrad Spindler, an archaeologist at the University of Innsbruck, examined Etsy's remains and announced that the money was not a mountaineer but was at least 4,000 years old, according to Scientific American. Since the discovery of his frozen body at the base of a shrinking glacier in the Edstall Alps in 1991, much has been learned about Etsy, the Copper Age mummy. At the site of Etsy's discovery, scientists reconstructed what the summits of the Edstall Alps near the border between Austria and Italy might have looked like thousands of years ago. They found evidence that these mountains have been covered in glaciers since approximately 3880 BCE, about 5900 years ago, 
and around 400 years before Etsy died from an enemy's arrow. The research indicates that the only highest peaks remained glaciated throughout the Holocene, the geologic time period representing the last 11,700 years. The research site, an ice dome at Weisserspitze in Austria, had not been previously explored. The dome-shaped geometry of the site resulted in minimal to no ice flow, preserving the oldest ice at its base. This made it an ideal location to take ice cores and analyze ancient ice. Scientists drilled two large ice cores and used new technology to date the samples. Using micro-radiocarbon ice dating, they determined the age of the ice, which allowed them to reconstruct the ice during Etsy's lifetime. The conclusion noted that the maximum age of the Weisserspitze glacier, about 5,900 years ago, is very close to the age of the Iceman. This suggests that during Etsy's lifetime, high alpine summits emerged from nearly ice-free conditions. Etsy has captured the world's imagination since his discovery. Now, 30 years later, he's helping bring awareness to important climate research. Although researchers are still studying glacial minima in the region, time is running out due to current melt rates that threaten the extinction of ice archives like the Weisserspitze Glacier, which has accumulated over nearly 6,000 years and may disappear within decades. Did you know? Etsy's gravesite has provided crucial information about a warm period that would have remained unknown without his discovery. This unique weather report from the Copper Age offers a glimpse into the ancient climate and highlights the urgency of studying current glacial changes. On number 8 we have Tattoo Treatment Would you believe me if I told you this Iceman had a total of 61 tattoos? Yes, it's not a joke! These consist of 19 groups of black lines, ranging from 1 to 3 millimeters in width and 7 to 40 millimeters in length. Now, they're not the Gen Z tattoos you might be thinking of. These tattoos include groups of parallel lines running along the length of his body on both sides of the lumbar spine, as well as a cruciform mark behind his right knee and on his right ankle, and parallel lines around his left wrist. The most markings were found on his legs, which together exhibit 12 groups of lines. Imagine the painstaking process behind these tattoos. A microscopic examination revealed they were created from pigment made from fireplace ash or soot, rubbed into small cuts or punctures. Studies suggest that Etsy was repeatedly tattooed in the same locations, as the majority of them are quite dark. Why would a man from the Copper Age undergo such a procedure? Radiological examinations of Etsy's bones showed age-conditioned or strain-induced degeneration corresponding to many tattooed areas. These included osteochondrosis and slight spondylosis in the lumbar spine and wear and tear degeneration in the knee and ankle joints. It's speculated that these tattoos may have been part of pain relief treatments similar to acupressure or acupuncture. Although Etsy lived at least 2,000 years before the earliest known use in China, Nine of the 19 groups of his tattoos are located near or directly on acupuncture points used today. Most of the other tattoos are in meridians and other acupunctural regions and over arthritic joints. Etsy's abdominal tattoos may have even alleviated the intestinal pain caused by whipworm, which he is believed to have had. Here's a shocking twist. For a long time, Etsy was thought to be the oldest tattooed human mummy ever discovered. However, in 2018, tattoos were found on nearly contemporaneous Egyptian mummies, adding another layer to our understanding of ancient body art. Many of Etsy's tattoos originally went unnoticed, as they're difficult to see with the naked eye. In 2015, researchers photographed the body using non-invasive multispectral techniques capturing images on different light wavelengths imperceptible to humans, revealing the remainder of his tattoos. Etsy's story is a bridge between ancient practices and modern science, shedding light on the life and health of people thousands of years ago. His tattoos are not just body art, but historical records, offering a unique glimpse into the ancient world and the early human understanding of pain management. Isn't that fascinating? On number 7 we have the Copper Link In 2016, a remarkable discovery about Etsy the Iceman's possessions sent scientists into a whirlwind of new questions. 
Etsy, a well-preserved mummy from around 3300 BCE found in the Alps, carried with him a valuable copper axe. Initially, it was believed that the copper for this axe came from the local Alpine region. However, tests revealed that the ore originated from southern Tuscany in Italy, an astonishing 500 kilometers away. This revelation puzzled researchers. What was a Tuscan copper axe doing with Etsy? Was he a trader, or had he acquired it through some form of exchange or travel? The axe itself was a marvel. Its handle, made of yew wood, was 60 centimeters long and carefully crafted with a right-angled crook. The axe head, nearly pure copper and 9.5 centimeters in length, was cast rather than hardened mechanically, a technique of the time. This precious tool was secured onto the handle using birch tar and leather lashing, showing signs of wear from chopping and cutting. In Etsy's era, such an axe was not only a practical tool, but also a significant status symbol. Alongside the axe, Etsy's arsenal included a chert-bladed knife with an ash handle and a quiver containing 14 arrows. Two of these arrows were complete with flint tips and fletching, while the rest were unfinished. The quiver also held what appeared to be a bowstring, an antler tool possibly used for sharpening, and an unidentified tool. This extensive toolkit suggested that Enzi was well prepared for survival in the harsh alpine environment. Further investigations into Etsy's copper axe also addressed another long-standing debate. Elevated levels of arsenic and copper in his hair had led some to believe he might have been a coppersmith, exposed to these elements during the forging process. However, when scientists examined other parts of his body, such as his nails, organs, and skin, they found no consistent metal contamination aside from slightly elevated arsenic levels in his nails. This evidence made it highly doubtful that Etsy had forged the axe himself. Etsy's possessions went beyond weapons. He carried berries, two barchberg baskets, and two types of polypore mushrooms threaded on leather strings. One of these mushrooms, known for its medicinal properties, was likely used to treat intestinal parasites. The other was a type of tinder fungus, part of a sophisticated fire-starting kit. This kit included pieces of various plants, flint, and pyrite for creating sparks, demonstrating Etsy's preparedness for wilderness survival. The discovery of the Tuscan copper axe with Etsy opens intriguing questions about ancient trade routes and cultural exchanges. Did people from southern Tuscany regularly venture into the Alps, or was Etsy part of a larger network of travelers and traders? Each answer brings us closer to understanding the complex lives of our ancient ancestors. On number 6 we have, was he sophisticated? When Etsy's remains were discovered in 1991, the initial impression was misleading. The climbers who stumbled upon him thought he was a modern hiker, and early researchers dismissed him as a primitive shepherd. However, as investigations progressed, a much more sophisticated picture of Etsy emerged. Far from being a simple farmer, Etsy was more akin to a well-equipped soldier, adept in survival and warfare. Etsy's arsenal was impressive. He carried a flint dagger, a yew longbow, arrows, and a copper axe. The yew bow, a high-tech weapon of its time, would give the English army a crucial advantage in battles thousands of years later. His copper axe was not just a tool, but a symbol of status and advanced metalworking skills. Beyond his weapons, Etsy was equipped with a framed backpack, fire-making tools, preserved food, and a first aid kit filled with powerful herbs. This level of preparedness showed a deep understanding of his environment and the challenges it posed. His fire starting kit included flint, pyrite, and tinder fungus, essential for warmth and cooking in the harsh conditions of the Alps. Etsy's clothing was equally advanced, providing protection and warmth comparable to modern outdoor gear. He wore triple-layered animal hides, a bearskin hat, a grass cape, and grass-insulated leather shoes. His attire was expertly designed to withstand the cold, illustrating his knowledge of natural resources. The fur robe, made from ibex, chamois, and deerskin, was carefully stitched together, showcasing his skills in clothing manufacture. The various items found with Etsy 
highlighted his sophisticated lifestyle. His basic clothing included an unlined fur robe, a woven grass cape, and a furry cap, all of which offered significant protection from the cold. His shoes, made of leather and stuffed with grass, were both durable and insulating. Etsy's quiver held 14 arrows made from viburnum and dogwood, two of which had flint points and feathers ready for use. His bow, made of yew, was a powerful weapon, and his quiver and arrows indicated that he was a skilled hunter or warrior. Additionally, he had a grass net, which may have served as a sack, a leather pouch, and a U-shaped wooden frame that functioned as a backpack to carry his gear. His food supply, although scant, included a slow berry, mushrooms, and a few gnawed ibex bones, showing that he knew how to sustain himself in the wild. Etsy's sophisticated equipment and clothing reveal a man who was far from a primitive caveman. Instead, he was a highly skilled and resourceful individual adept at exploiting natural resources to survive and thrive in a challenging environment. His story is a testament to the ingenuity and resilience of our ancient ancestors. On number 5 we have Blood of Four Individuals in the icy peaks of the Schnalstall Glacier, an ancient story lay frozen, waiting to be discovered. Yes, this is the tale of Etsy the Iceman, a traveler from over 5,300 years ago who met a violent end. Scientists have pieced together his gripping epic of survival, conflict, and friendship. Discovered by hikers in 1991 in Italy's South Tyrol, Etsy was initially thought to have died from exposure. But as researchers delved deeper, a different, more dramatic story emerged. In 2003, Dr. Tom Loy from Queensland University and his team analyzed DNA from Etsy's tools and clothing, revealing clues about his final days. They found blood from four different people on Etsy's possessions, hinting at a fierce battle. One arrowhead had blood from two people, suggesting that Etsy had shot someone, retrieved the arrow, and then used it again. His knife had blood from a third person, and his coat had blood from a fourth. Who were these people, and what led to this deadly encounter? Dr. Loy speculated that Etsy and his companion were involved in a border skirmish, common in those turbulent times. Armed with his flint dagger and arrows, Etsy fought bravely. He managed to wound or kill three adversaries, but suffered a severe cut on his hand and three broken ribs. Etsy and his companion, likely injured too, fled into the mountains. The companion, trying to save him, attempted to pull an arrow out of Etsy's back, but the arrow had broke, remaining lodged in his body. This wound proved fatal, and Etsy died in the snow. The fate of his companion remains unknown. Did he escape or also succumb to the harsh conditions? The South Tyrol Museum of Archaeology, where Etsy now rests, continues to search for answers. Expeditions are planned to explore melting ice fields, which may reveal more clues about Etsy's life and death. Etsy's story is a testament to the resilience and bravery of our ancestors. It's a tale not just of a man who met a violent end, but of a life filled with struggle and survival in a harsh world. As scientists continue to unravel the mysteries of his past, Etsy the Iceman stands as a powerful reminder of the enduring human spirit. On number 4 we have Stability of MicroRNA In 2017, an exciting breakthrough in genetic research brought together two unlikely partners, Ansi the Iceman, a 5,300-year-old mummy discovered in the Alps, and a mummified World War I soldier. Researchers were keen to investigate a newly documented biomarker known as microRNA, curious to see if it remains stable in ancient tissues. Biomarkers are biological traits that provide valuable insights into a person's health, and microRNA, in particular, is popular among health professionals for its remarkable stability. A team of university professors embarked on this groundbreaking study, carefully extracting samples from Etsy's skin and stomach. The process was challenging due to the delicate nature of the ancient tissues. Remarkably, they found that the microRNA in both Etsy and the mummified soldiers was not only present, but also stable. 
This discovery was a significant milestone, proving that microRNA can survive for thousands of years. MicroRNAs are tiny molecules of ribonucleic acid that play a crucial role in gene regulation. Prior to this study, it was uncertain whether these molecules could still be found in human tissues after such an extended period. The research team, led by professors Andreas Keller and Eckhard Misse of Saarland University, Stephanie Kreis of the University of Luxembourg, and professors Albert Sink and Frank Meixner of URAC Research in Bozen, took on the challenge. Their findings were astounding. The analysis of Etsy's microRNAs revealed that, despite some common genetic markers being absent, these molecules were intact and measurable. This stability opens up new possibilities for therapeutic science as microRNAs have the potential to become key players in future medical treatments. The scientists used advanced techniques to extract and quantify the genetic material from Etsy's tissues. It was a challenge to extract this genetic material in significant quantities and sufficient quality from the mummified tissue samples, reported Stephanie Kreis. Nonetheless, the team succeeded in finding microRNAs that were predominantly present in the ancient tissues. Interestingly, some biomarkers commonly found in modern humans were missing in Etsy. Professor Zink emphasized that microRNAs are the next significant class of molecules from Etsy to receive an intensive examination. Professor Misa highlighted the importance of these stable biomarkers for clinical applications today. The potential of microRNA is much greater than we previously thought, he explained. We still don't know enough about how these molecules influence specific genes, entire gene families, or biochemical pathways. As we investigate further, microRNAs might become new stars in therapy. Utzi's tale continues to unfold, revealing not just the story of a man from the Copper Age, but also offering valuable insights for modern science. As researchers delve deeper into the mysteries of these ancient biomarkers, the enduring legacy of the Iceman promises to pave the way for groundbreaking advancements in medical science. On number 3 we have An Epic Final Journey in the final days of his life, Etsy the Iceman undertook a remarkable and grueling journey. Despite suffering from several ailments, his strength and endurance were evident as he traversed challenging terrain. Researchers have pieced together his last movements thanks to an unexpected clue – moss. Etsy's gut contained traces of two moss species. One, Hymenostelium recuverostrum, grows in wet places. Scientists believe Etsy likely drank water contaminated with this moss. The other moss, known as fan moss, was probably ingested when Etsy wrapped his last meal, red deer and ibex meat, in it. Did you know about the most surprising discovery? It was sphagnum imbricatum or bog moss. Let me break it down for you. This moss, used historically for its absorbent and antiseptic properties, was likely used by Ötzi to dress a deep slash on his right palm. Researchers believe he accidentally consumed some while eating or drinking. What makes this discovery even more astonishing is that bog moss grew 20 kilometers south of where Ötzi was found. This means Ötzi descended from the high alps to the lowlands to collect the bog moss, then journeyed back up into the mountains. Over two or three days, he covered nearly 60 kilometers. Ötzi's final journey is a testament to his resilience and resourcefulness. Despite his injuries, he navigated through treacherous landscapes, using natural remedies to treat his wounds. His last trek through the Alps highlights the incredible survival skills of prehistoric humans and offers a glimpse into the harsh realities they faced. As scientists continue to study his remains, Ötzi's story remains a captivating tale of endurance and the relentless human spirit. On number 2 we have Murder Victim Did you know? Initially, the Iceman was believed to have died from exhaustion and starvation after a fierce chase, but new scientific discoveries painted a different, even more intriguing picture of his final moments. For years, researchers thought Etsy succumbed to injuries after a violent confrontation. A deep arrow wound on his shoulder and a fatal blow to his head seemed to tell the story of a man who fought desperately but ultimately lost. Cuts, bruises, and injuries, both pre- and post-mortem, 
alongside the analysis of four different blood types on Utzi and his artifacts, suggest he had killed two of his pursuers before being overwhelmed by the rest. But a more detailed scan revealed startling new evidence. What scientists initially mistook for Etsy's empty stomach was actually part of his colon. His stomach, pushed upwards under his ribs while on the ice, was found to be full of ibex meat. This finding disproved the earlier theory of a dramatic chase and starvation. Instead, it showed that Etsy had eaten a large meal not more than an hour before his death. Additionally, the presence of a blood clotting protein called fibrin on Etsy's arrow wound, detected using nanotechnology, proved that he died quickly after being shot. Fibrin vanishes quickly in a working body, so its presence indicates a rapid death rather than days of survival after the injury. With these revelations, scientists now believe Etsy was ambushed shortly after his meal. The exact cause of death remains the blow to the head, though it is unclear whether this injury came from being struck or from falling after being shot by the arrow. But who were these pursuers and why did they target Etsy? One possible scenario is that Etsy was involved in a territorial dispute or a personal dispute. His pursuers, driven by anger or a need for retribution, tracked him to the glacier. In a swift and brutal attack, they trapped him, shooting him with an arrow. As he fell, one of them delivered a fatal blow to his head, ensuring he would not survive. The blood found on Etsy and his tools tells a tale of fierce resistance. Despite being outnumbered and trapped, he fought back valiantly, wounding or killing two of his attackers. But weakened and cornered, he ultimately succumbed to the relentless assault. Etsy's final moments were not those of a man running in fear, but of one who stood his ground against overwhelming odds. His story, preserved in the ice for millennia, continues to captivate and intrigue, offering a glimpse into the harsh and often violent world of our ancestors. On number one we have Cursed. The discovery of Etsy the Iceman not only unveiled a story from the past, but also sparked eerie rumors of a curse. Seven people connected to Etsy's unearthing met untimely and mysterious deaths, leading many to believe that disturbing his icy grave had unleashed something sinister. The first to fall victim was Reiner Henn, a forensic pathologist from the University of Innsbruck. He was one of the first scientists to handle Etsy's body, even using his bare hands to lift it from the ice. Tragically, Hen died in a catastrophic car crash while on his way to a lecture about his findings on Etsy. Next was Kurt Fritz, a mountain guide who had led Hen to Etsy's body. Despite being an experienced guide familiar with the terrain, Fritz was the only one struck by an avalanche that crushed him with falling rocks. The third victim, Reiner Helzel, had filmed an exclusive documentary about Etsy's discovery. Soon after the documentary aired, Helzel developed a mysterious illness, speculated to be a brain tumor, and died in excruciating pain. Helmut Simon, one of the hikers who initially found Etsy, was the fourth victim. In October 2004, Simon went missing while hiking on Austria's Geiskarkogel Peak. His body was found eight days later, covered in ice, after falling 300 feet from a ledge during a sudden blizzard. The fifth death was that of Dieter Warnecke, the head of the rescue team searching for Simon. He died of a heart attack just hours after Simon's funeral. The sixth victim, Konrad Spindler, was one of the first scientists to examine Ernsi. Spindler succumbed to complications from multiple sclerosis. The last, and perhaps strangest death, was that of Tom Loy, a molecular archaeologist who discovered four different types of blood on Etsy's clothing and weapons. Loy dismissed the idea of a curse as pure superstition, yet shortly after his involvement with Etsy, he was diagnosed with a rare hereditary blood condition. He died just before completing his book about the Iceman. These seven deaths, each linked to Etsy, fueled the belief in a curse. Whether by coincidence or something more, the tale of Etsy's curse adds a chilling twist to the ancient Iceman story, reminding us of the mysteries that sometimes linger around great discoveries. And there you have it, 
the 10 weirdest tales of Utsi the Iceman, from his mysterious and violent end to the eerie deaths of those connected to his discovery, Etsy's story is filled with chilling twists and turns. The discovery of his ancient remains not only offers a fascinating glimpse into Copper Age life, but also ignites a series of strange and unsettling events that continue to baffle scientists and captivate us all. I'm in shock right now as I'm sure many of you are. The mystery surrounding Etsy seem to deepen rather than resolve. Each strange occurrence raises new questions about the ancient man and the world he inhabited. If you found this exploration of Etsy's mysterious epic intriguing, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more captivating tales. Thanks for watching and let's keep delving into the mysteries that history holds. Stay curious.